Welcome to Illinois Corn TV News for this week's Agriculture Update. Today we'll talk about a terrific partnership between Illinois corn and soybean farmers benefiting our high school football playoff teams in Illinois. We'll check out the harvest with the Jansen family down by Shelby County, and the NCGA is sounding the alarm on a potential decision by Mexico. I'm Lauren Fulmer with Illinois Corn TV News. Here's a feel-good story. The Illinois corn and soybean farmers are fueling the Illinois High School Association football championships this fall. Literally, right after pairings were announced and brackets were posted, the corn and soybean checkoff programs determined the schools with the longest drives to their first championship game and provided a gift card to purchase the cheaper, cleaner, burning renewable fuels that would get them there. The partnership between IHSA and corn and soybean farmers in Illinois will continue to focus on biofuels and the role they can play for our future. Soy-based biodiesel and corn-based ethanol are readily available options that Illinois citizens can choose now to have a positive impact on our climate and on the farmers and rural communities in Illinois. Follow along as the best high school football teams in the state work their way to the November championship games. Featuring locally grown biofuels and Illinois farm families in commercials, social and digital ads, and in-game announcements along the way. Now, the National Corn Growers Association is sounding the alarm. A pending decree out of Mexico that would disrupt U.S. shipments of corn into the country has Illinois Corn Growers Association and National Corn Growers Association sounding the alarm and calling for action. Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador decided to issue a decree that would halt impacts of over 90% of American corn by 2024. His efforts are based on unfounded concerns about biotech corn and the use of essential herbicides by American farmers. We must do everything possible to stop this decree from being enacted, said Marty Marr, president of ICGA and farmer in New Berlin, Illinois. Any interruptions of corn exports in Mexico would have a significant impact on our state and its growers. Indeed, Mexico is currently the top foreign market for U.S. corn at a value of over $5 billion in marketing year 2021 and 22. In calendar year 2021, direct shipments from Illinois to Mexico were valued at over $750 million. If the decree is enacted, Corn growers in Illinois will feel the impact as well as businesses across the state. Now, let's meet the Jansen family in the fields. Uh, just being outside and having the grandkids here all the time. Uh, somebody's always in the combine, somebody's always in the tractor, so a lot of fun. Hello, I am Brody Burton. And I am age 10 and I love to farm here with my grandpa and yoga. Whenever my grandpa does have issues on the farm, I always go look it up on YouTube and I always figure out ways how to fix it. Um, one of my favorite memories in the combine was one time when we hit a ditch, the yield monitor went like really high to like 500. That was kind of funny to watch. <laughs> I love growing up as a country kid and I love having my trust, my grandpa's trust for driving all of them. I want you guys to know that you're never too young to make a difference because I already know how to drive that thing and many other tractors. Finally, the general election will be held in the U.S. state of Illinois on Tuesday, November 8, 2022. The elections for the United States and United States House of Representatives, Governor, Statewide Constitutional Officers, Illinois Senate, and Illinois House will be held on this date. This will be a midterm election year in the United States. A bill was passed in Illinois in 2021 declaring Election Day as a holiday. Continued best of luck in the fields, farm families, and stay tuned for next week's Illinois Corn TV episode. And please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more ag news. Thank you for watching today.